Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGDim007, and today we're looking at the Volcano plugin. So this is a really awesome and really new plugin that allows you to have volcanic eruptions in your Minecraft server. So we just saw one then that is the remnants of one that we created earlier. But if we go over to this small town that I've created over here, we will create a brand new one. So if you want to artificially create one, you can do four slash eruption and then nearby one will start. So you can see over here, there's a small pool of lava, there's a few blocks of obsidian, and it's slowly but surely building up and getting bigger and bigger, engulfing the surrounding area. You can also see that a blaze spawns, so mobs do spawn around this area. There are explosions as well, and you can start to see blocks of magma being formed as well. So what I'm gonna do is speed this up because obviously it does take quite a while to get to its peak form and it's going to build up pretty high. You can see there's a house here being completely engulfed. So here's a quick time-lapse of it going to the finished product. As you can see, it goes really, really high. There's so much destruction everywhere. So if your town was here, you would be in a lot of trouble. And as you can see, once it is finished, it turns to dirt and grass. And give it a few seconds, and there we go. It has completely finished. And what we can do now is dig inside it, find all the different ores, so diamond, gold, redstone, lapis, anything we want. It will be a great place to go mining for all those important things that we need. So what can we do if we want to protect an area from these volcanic eruptions? Well, if we get some magma blocks and set them out in a cube, 3x3x3, three by three by three, and then stick three pieces of obsidian on top going upwards, it will protect an area of 60 blocks around it. So I'm gonna show you how to build one here really quickly. And if I fast forward a little bit, you can see this is the finished product. It looks a bit strange, but this is going to protect the area around it by 60 blocks, so no volcanoes appear and destroy everything. So that is pretty much everything in game. Obviously this is a really new plugin and hopefully we'll get more features and other cool stuff in the future. But let's go over to the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and if we go into the volcano folder, we will see a single config.yml. So if we go into this, there isn't much in it really. There's only a few things we can change. So the generation frequency is set to two. What does this mean? So it's in terms of rain events in your server. So currently a volcanic eruption will happen every two rain events. If we set this to one, every single rain event will be replaced by a volcanic eruption somewhere in your server. So if you set it to four, every four rain events would be a volcanic eruption and so on. Then you have the minimax distance and then you have the enabled world. So obviously if you've got a creative or factions world, you might want to disable it in those. So that is pretty much everything in the config file. Very straightforward. It's a plugin still an alpha. If we go over to the spigot page, you can see this is obviously an alpha version. It came out yesterday, in fact. It's a brand new plugin and it's already really fantastic and works really well. So there's loads of cool pictures and info on the spigot page. You can see this is the machine we built to protect the area. But if you have any issues with it, feel free to contact the developer and uh, I'm sure he'll be able to help you out. But if you want a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.